Hey, welcome everyone. Mark here at Blue Glow Electronics. Just want to take a few minutes and say uh, happy holidays to all my uh, loyal YouTube followers out there. And hey, if you're new to the channel, um, you know, here at Blue Glow Electronics, we do a lot of audio focused uh, repairs, restorations, and build of stuff in our spare time. It's a great way to uh, decompress from the day job and uh, blow off steam. And while I'm doing it, I might as well be recording it, sharing it with others. So, uh, Maybe they can learn a little something, just like I do. I learn a lot watching YouTube and whatnot. But anyway, thought I'd do a little update here on the shop and uh, maybe give you guys a few tech tips here as we close out the year in 2021. And then again, happy holidays to everyone. All right, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room here. Where have you been, Mark, and how have you been doing? I get those questions a lot from you guys via email. I really appreciate the outreach. Uh, it shows you guys care about what we're doing here with the channel. Also says you care about me personally as an individual, and I, I really appreciate that. Um, but, you know, where have I been? You know, about two years ago in October, I took a new role uh, leading a fairly large technology company based in Ohio. And I live in North Carolina. We also have offices all the way from LA to Miami, uh, several different states. And um, what this has turned into for me is just a lot of travel um, from a leadership standpoint. You gotta be there and uh, be in person sometimes. And uh, we've just had a lot growing on. We've been expanding, acquisitions, so on and so forth. So at any rate, uh, that's likely to go on for a while. So uh, it's keeping me quite busy. As a matter of fact, I've been on the road 17 out of the last 20 weeks just to give you reference and that that makes it hard to make videos because when i am at home um you know i just want to spend time focusing on my wife the dogs uh the house, things i need to do around the house uh that kind of stuff but um you know health wise i'm doing great uh trying to still eat real healthy haven't gotten as much exercise as i would like uh, so that's going to be one of my 2022 resolutions but um hey we're here and uh we'll, we'll keep trying to fit some videos in when we can but right now uh the day job and the career is just uh taking precedence and and don't take that in a bad way i am loving i'm having the time of my life uh leading this company it's kind of what i was meant to do my entire life so uh a career is uh you know on a pedestal right now all right guys uh let's dive into the next topic All right, with all that going on, you may say, well, Mark, what, what do you think you're going to be able to fit in in 2022? And here's what I've got top of mind. First and foremost, somewhere here in 2022, hopefully sooner than later, I'm going to finish out the oscilloscope series. Um, you know, I finished, I think, three of the five, and I get emails weekly about that from people saying, hey, I've watched the series. It's great. I'm really looking forward to four and five. When are they coming? Or they're or they're asking me, hey, I watched one, two, and three. What whatever happened with four? Is it out there? I can't find it, type thing. So anyway, promise to wrap those up. It's super high on my list, number one priority for Blue Glow for this year. All right, number two, um, you know, I don't take a lot of vacation work-wise, but what I do take, I try to wrap it around Hamfest. So I know I've got the Charlotte Hamfest coming up in the spring. We'll have some others. Uh, we'll have some Summer Ham Fest, and then we'll have Shelby this year. I will try to uh, make videos of all of those that I'll try to commit to you guys. And then in between there, I don't know. We'll just have to see what I can fit in uh, here and there. Um, I will tell you one thing I have been doing while on the road, you know, laying in a hotel room, 9 o'clock at night, not a lot else going on. I started writing a book. Um, it's a book uh, primarily focused on tube audio. And, um, you know, everything from tube theory to designing tube amplifier to, you know, how you might go about thinking about building one uh, to maybe how you go about repairing them. Um, my longer term thoughts are, you know, once I retire one day, I plan to teach classes, you know, amp building classes. This might be my textbook for that. Uh, and who knows, maybe it'll come out before then. No, no commitments in 2022 to publish this book. I'm just going to keep working on it. I'm, a, I'm about three chapters in right now and maybe another 15 or so chapters to go. But um, having a lot of fun with it. You know, one thing I've learned, I've learned a lot about writing a book. One is um, everything you put in there, you want to fact check it, right? So you want to you go do your research and you want to have references and that kind of stuff. 
Uh, it's kind of like uh, writing papers in college, you know. Uh, you want to get it right. You want to make sure anything you're uh, stating, um, you know, you can kind of back what you're saying there. So, uh, I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of research as a result of that. And uh, it's good stuff I can do while I'm on the road um, and don't have a bench in front of me. So, anyway, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated as that continues to move along. And we'll see how the rest of the year turns out. Uh, no promises on preamp. Uh, design or build. No promises on finishing the single-ended 300B. Um, I'll get to that when I can focus some serious bench time. And as of late, it's just been hit or miss a little bit here and there. I've not had that consistency that it would take to do such a thing. So stay tuned and we'll see how the year goes. All right, recently I was cruising through eBay and I came across this preamp and, and you know, it listed as a, a tube preamp and um, I checked this thing out and I looked at it and take a look here and I'll try to zoom in a little bit on it here in a few places, but you know, it just kind of started blowing my mind, you know, the, uh, the technique used for assembling this, right? There's some wood involved, there's some uh, wood screws involved, there's a lot of uh, hot glue gun involved in this, um, and, you know, some pretty ugly wiring here. But, you know, I've seen some, some ugly things in my past that were pretty darn functional and worked well. You know, maybe this is one of those, but I just thought I'd share it with you. This thing sold on eBay. Um, someone bought it, and so uh, it wasn't wasn't cheap either. I want to say it went for like six, seven hundred bucks, something like that. Looks like it's an old DVD case or something that somebody put a new face on, um, gutted it out, and uh, kind of used it for uh, making this thing. So I don't know who the seller was, but um, I just thought, you know, hey. They, they didn't have a lot to work with, but they sure as heck made something here. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Maybe, maybe get your thoughts and comments down below. All right, this is a book I just finished reading. Um, saw it posted in one of the online forums and on Facebook, electronics forums. At any rate, I, um, you know, apparently this has been used in a lot of classrooms and... Uh, what not over the years, but uh, it's just one of those that had eluded me to date. Anyway, I picked up a copy of it. Um, you know, you can get it in Kindle format, hardback, paperback. You can buy used ones. There's lots of places besides Amazon to get them. And there's a couple places. If you just Google the name of this, uh, Troubleshooting Analog Circuits, um, and put in PEAS, P-E-A-S-E, and then put PDF and hit enter in Google, You'll find a couple of links where you can actually download it if you just wanted to read it in a PDF format. Um, but at any rate, it, it's one of the best books I've ever read. Um, I wish I'd have read it 35 years ago is where I'm at. It's not audio specific. It's not tube specific. Uh, it's just all about analog circuits. And this guy has some methodology, um, ways to shortcut, uh, how to get rid of the noise and just kind of focus in on what, you know, what might be the problem. Um, just some really good practical stuff here. I will certainly use some of these tips and techniques in my future going forward. But I just thought I'd share this book with you guys for, for, for any of you not familiar with it. I'm sure some of you have probably read this one before. But just uh, it's not that often I, I read something and I'm like, wow, really good book. And I want to endorse this. And uh tell some other people about it. So I thought I'd do that today. Check it out. All right, guys. So um, this one probably means a lot more to me than it will you guys, but I've talked about it a lot and I have people ask me about it from time to time. I have finally finished the barn out back, uh, the remodel that we were doing on it. Super excited um, at this point. You know, it turned out exactly the way I wanted it. All the plans we had laid out uh, we kind of got them complete. And so, you know, at this point, um, you know, the bottom's mostly focused on a car shop, uh, put in a four post lift. I've got a couple old muscle cars in case you guys didn't know. And I like to, uh, work on them. I used to restore a lot of muscle cars and flip them, but, uh, those days are gone. You can't find them cheap anymore, <laughs> uh, enough to make any money on them. So at any rate, um, 
kind of got the bottom uh, garage focused uh, nice storage room um, for all my equipment and uh, and restored gear unrestored gear so on and so forth lots and lots of shelving and then up top in the barn uh, the back part of it is just uh, more storage put in a nice elevator lift I want to show you guys that and then um, the front part of the the top of the barn made an amazing listening room uh, full acoustic treatment all over I uh, did this room upright. I spared no <laughs> nothing. Um, I, I got one little piece I'm, I'm still waiting on, and I'll, I'll show you this when I make a video on it. Um, I'm still looking for a really nice mid-century modern credenza. I find them all the time. I'm just looking for something very specific, and when I find it, I'll, I'll buy it and put it down there and, and be done. I, I decorated the entire room in uh, kind of mid-century modern. So at any rate, stay tuned. I promise you a video of the barn in its entirety and the uh, the listening room here sometime uh, in the early part of next year. Um, hey, in my little note uh, here, I said uh, barn is finished, kind of. Well, it is finished. Um, guys spent almost a year down there working on it. I had two con uh, two guys, uh, kind of uh, two guys in a truck type thing, um, worked on it for a better part of a year. At any rate, um, when they finished up, you know, it was one of those reflecting things. You know, there's always the, I wish I would have done this now that I've got it done kind of thing. And I've decided I want to put a bathroom in down there. That way, if I hold classes in the future when I retire, um, people that come will never have a reason to leave the barn. Uh, and I'll have a bathroom in there. So I'm going to do that uh, starting in February. And then the other thing was, I've always said I'm going to keep my electronics workbench, the shop here, and all my parts in the basement um, here at the house. I've changed my mind on that. Um, it just, I've got so much opportunity down there. It's, it's a 4,000 square foot barn, two story. It's a lot. Um, at any rate, I, um, I've got lots of room, so I think I'm going to build me a fairly large workshop slash ham shack. I'd like to get some ham gear out, have a nice uh, room there to go to, put me up a tower, uh, some antennas and whatnot, and uh, have a nice ham shack there. At the same time, I uh, have a nice big workbench, way, way bigger than what I've got here, a lot more room to sprawl out and whatnot. So anyway, they're coming back in February and starting on that stuff. The good news is I can be on the road traveling and uh, I know these guys well, they live just up the road. Uh, they, they can uh, let themselves in and out and work on this stuff. So stay tuned. Um, I will be making a video sometime here in the next month or two and uh, show you guys what all we've got going on down there. All right, with that, let's see what we got next. Hey, one magazine I've really enjoyed over the years is Nuts and Bolts. Uh, really good magazine. But at any rate, as of late in the last few months, they've had several different, uh, this one's beginning to build with tubes uh, article in it. And there was another one not recently about tubes. So uh, just cool to see uh, some of this old stuff coming back around in newer publications. Uh, just thought I'd point that out to you. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it here and just say happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone. Looking forward to 2022. I know it won't be as uh, as many videos as I have been able to make in the past. This day job just is not allowing it. And and that's okay. I'm having, having a lot of fun, as I mentioned. And uh, we'll fit this stuff in as we can. Uh, see you soon with some videos on the barn.